Six protocol. Options Greeks. What is your lucky number? So we are talking about not your lucky number, but how to add numbers to a file. You want to number a file, right? How do you do that with Perl? So first step is to get rid of this nonsense. Get rid of it all and type in Perl, of course, and then you're going to type in dash n e, and now your command inside is single quotes, then it's print. Obviously, you want to print this, this stuff in the file with numbers, and then we're going to put after that in normal uh, double quotes here, we're going to put in a dollar sign dot space dollar sign underscore. And then we close our quotes out. Then we have the file name, file.txt. And that's it. Boom! Look at that. Your file is numbered. It's that easy, that simple to do. So again, it's Perl space dash NE, November Echo, space. And then in single quotes, you're going to go print, space, double quotes, dollar sign, dot, space, dollar sign, underscore. And then uh, double quote, single quote. Close your quotes out, space, file name and then you're good to go. Now, there's another way that you can do this as well. Let's get out of here. So you can also do this, instead of using the dash NE, we could use the dash PE, and then we're gonna make a slight change to how this is worded. Now, when we use the dash NE, we had to put print in there explicitly, right? Now that we have P, which is going to print uh, we don't need to have that anymore. So we're just going to put, instead of that, let's go ahead and, and change up our command here. So we're going to actually start with dollar sign underscore. So let's go dollar sign underscore. And then we're going to go equals. And then we have the double quotes. And then we have the dollar sign dot space dollar sign underscore. Close your double quote, close your single quote space file name. All right, now you may be wondering, do we need a space between this equal uh, sign here? Well, one way to find out. So as you can see, it worked. Now, just out of curiosity, and when you're learning Perl, feel free to explore. Now is the time to explore when you're just learning, not when you're actually on a job, <laughs> you know, and you're expected to be fast and efficient, right? So learn now, experiment now. So when you're actually doing scripting uh, for work, you already know this stuff. So what happens if you put a space in there? What happens? It works. So now you know, space or no space, this is going to work. Now you know you can do this with the dash NE or dash PE. Either one works. And now you are going to smile and then click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is the Computer Programming University brought to you by Carlisle Speaks Wall Street, which is my main channel. The username is Fixed Protocol. That channel is more focused on trading and trading technology, whereas this is just focused on you know, Unix, shell scripting, Perl, Python, networking, app development, not specific to trading, just in general. So anyone who wants to learn about programming, this is the channel for you. So thanks for subscribing and welcome aboard. Options Greeks.